If you want to really change the game when it comes to your public speaking, wow an audience and connect deeply, then storytelling is the way forward. If you want to... I'm going to need your help. Okay, it's almost 10 past 12 and my mum's going to be tuning in. Uh, this is it. I told my mum I would be speaking at TEDx. She's Nigerian. She said, oh, you'll be acting at TEDx. <laughs> I'm like, no, 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 I'll be speaking. I'll go, I'm going to be speaking. She said, let me phone the auntie. <laughs> so my auntie comes, she's like, ah, uh, Malakai. You are going to be acting. Okay, I will watch. What time? What time? I said, I'm going to be speaking. No, you are acting. No, when you are young, you are acting, you are dancing, you are moving. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, okay, I'm going to be acting. If you've been on LinkedIn, Facebook, YouTube, or anywhere on social media, people are sharing stories, especially in a time where there are not really any live presentations. People go on Zoom and they're sharing stories. Your story is the thing that will help you impress an audience and give irresistible speeches. Now, with all the hype about storytelling, a lot of people struggle with this question. They say to me all the time, Malachi, I know storytelling is good, but how do I find my story? And what type of story should I tell? Well, I'm gonna share with you how you can have a system for finding stories that is stress-free and very, very easy to implement. And when you get this, uh, this system, it contains four C's. When you get this four C structure, whenever you need a story, you'll just think in these areas. And it's really, it's really interesting because I found that most of the stories that I tell come from these four areas. Okay, let's check this out. So the fir first area you can find your stories is your childhood. Your childhood contains everything you need to tell a powerful story. Some of the best stories um, come from your childhood where there was lots of conflict and lots of discovery. So mine and search your childhood. Second place you can find a story is your circumstance. You're going through circumstances at work, you're going through circumstances in your relationships, in your families, you're going through lockdown now. Your circumstance could be the very thing that leads to someone else's breakthrough or makes that business point or um, helps person, a person take their next step. So maybe keep a journal of your current circumstances. The next place you can find your stories is very, very um, quite uh, something that people discount. It is... Chance encounters. Chance encounters. Chance encounters. So there, I had a chance encounter where I met David De Gea, um, the Manchester United football player. And there's a whole story I can build around having a chance, chance encounter. Maybe meeting a celebrity, meeting um, someone famous or someone you haven't seen for years can evoke a story that you can use in one of your presentations. So chance encounters, don't discount chance encounters. And the last place you can find your stories that I find I consistently find my stories is your career. Your career contains stories um, and characters that people can identify. That boss you don't like, that mentor you do like, that staff member who's always moaning and being negative. Your career has got all of these elements, how you got your job, how you transitioned from job to job, um, something that happened at work, an incident, something you learned at work. Your career contains all of the elements needed to create a great story. So you've got your childhood circumstance, chance encounters and your career, four C's that can help you get a story system a storytelling system that can help you find stories whenever you need them. But the secret is to keep a journal and log in these areas. And when you need a story, you can brainstorm these areas. But here's the thing. If you want to change your public speaking and take it to the next level, you've got to get into this storytelling business. Take care. See you again soon. I'd love to know how you find your stories. If you like this video, share it or leave a comment below. I'll see you again soon. All the best.